Access Explains Lee, the wonderful segment with a horrible name. <laughs> So, let us explain, Lee, New Zealand's refugee policies. Their offer to resettle 150 refugees from Manus Island has been on the table since 2013, but we're not really super keen on it. Jacinda Ardern repeating an offer that dates back to the Gillard government. Okay. Uh, yes, I did renew again New Zealand's offer to take uh, 150 refugees from both uh, from Manus and Nauru. Malcolm Turnbull's eyes <laughs> saying it all. We appreciate, as I said, the offer that has been made uh, and has been restated. But again rejected. Yes, that is certainly a face that says, I appreciate the offer. <laughs> in fact, it's so appropriate, Hallmark has already turned it into a lovely card. <laughs> to be fair, not all New Zealanders are crazy about it either, including one man who spent some time with the refugees in question. Well, don't do it, is the message from a security guard who worked on Manus Island and is now warning the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern not to take 150 refugees from the detention centre. Um, I think it's a diabolical offer. I mean, do we want these kind of people in New Zealand? I most certainly do not. I'm not a racist, I'm not culturally biased. I just do not like the criminal element trying to get a back door into a country. Mm, some strong opinions there, slightly undermined by the fact his name is Ian. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just find it hard to take Ian's seriously. <laughs> Also, he sounds quite a bit like Murray from Flight of the Concords. <laughs> Just because I don't like criminals doesn't make me a racist, Brit. <laughs> so what would Ian say to anyone who thinks that New Zealand should open its arms to help out those recognised refugees fleeing persecution? I would say to them, straight up, as a member of the general public, would you be happy if a pedophile was released from the prison and became your next door neighbour? Nine times out of ten, someone's going to say, absolutely not, not interested. OK, what the hell is this scenario? <laughs> Bing bong, kia ora. I'm to the local New Zealand prison, just wondering if you'd be interested in having a pedophile as a next-door neighbour. <laughs> Would you consider that to be choice or not choice? <laughs> also, he said nine out of ten people are going to say not interested. So one time out of ten, a New Zealander is saying, oh, yes! <laughs> Oh yes, a pedophile moving in next door would make me very happy. Thanks for that, hey! <laughs> Someone who speaks very highly of the New Zealand offer is Greens leader Richard Di Natale. Our neighbours across the ditch are showing us up. Uh, they, ha they have said that they are prepared to shelter uh, some of these people and they're showing the decency and compassion that Australia, this Australian government is so sadly lacking. New Zealand has shown us up and said, well, look, if you're not going to show a bit of decency here, we'll take some of those people. Yes, you said it, Dick. We should all be decent like New Zealand and we should all follow New Zealand's example when it comes to refugees. Right, everybody? <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> I tricked 40% of you, you idiots. <laughs> Look, offering to resettle 150 of the 600 men languishing on Manus isn't a bad thing. That's 150 more than Australia has offered to take from PNG. But it's important to know that this isn't New Zealand offering to take more refugees than they normally would. Since its inception, the idea has been those 150 refugees will be included in New Zealand's annual refugee quota. So same total number of refugees for New Zealand, they're just coming from a different place. Oh, but Tom, surely they made the offer because they think it's a decent thing to do to help out our fellow human beings, yeah? Yeah, also the fact that New Zealand believes it benefits from Australia's current border protection operations. So, you know, everybody wins except the people who don't. <laughs> when you actually look at the bigger picture, when it comes to refugee intake, New Zealand is considerably less generous than we are. In 2015, New Zealand's refugee quota was just 750 places. Australia's quota was 13,000. 750 places. Sure, New Zealand has just one-fifth of the population that we do, but on a per capita basis, New Zealand takes one-eighteenth of the refugees that we do. New Zealand is as good at denying refugees as they are at denying wall wallaby tries. He is hammered and loses it in contact. Look everyone, I did a sports joke. <laughs> All right, you don't need to be fucking patronising. <laughs> I have a very wide appeal. <laughs> Since the Second World War, Australia has resettled over 800,000 refugees, while New Zealand's total is only around 33,000. To be fair, there haven't been that many wars since 1945. <laughs> well, apart from those ones. <laughs> 
So I don't know, Richard Di Natale, are you sure that Australia should follow New Zealand's lead here? Your party wants to increase Australia's refugee intake to 50,000 people a year. But if Australia took in as many refugees as New Zealand did per capita, we would only take 3,845 refugees this year. And that would have terrible consequences, like making Peter Dutton happy. <laughs> God, I could actually hear his cheeks creaking. <laughs> and then there are other less than awesome aspects of New Zealand's refugee policy. You know how Donald Trump has been widely criticised and legally challenged over his ongoing attempts to have a Muslim ban in the US? Well, maybe he was inspired by the Kiwis, because since 2009, New Zealand has quietly reduced its quota of refugees from a number of majority Muslim countries. They used to take roughly two thirds of their refugees from Africa and the Middle East, but by 2017, those regions had dropped to just 21% of their quota. Plus, New Zealand has limited that intake to family reunions only, which means the number of refugees it takes from those regions could soon dwindle to nothing. <laughs> it looks like someone went ahead and made New Zealand great again. <laughs> Hashtag Minsger. Get it trending, people. <laughs> How does New Zealand justify this shift? By citing broad security concerns. <laughs> ah, yes, the old broad security concerns. What are your security concerns like? Oh, they're broad. <laughs> they stretch from Middle Eastern Muslims all the way to African Muslims. Very broad. <laughs> if a phrase like that is a little too subtle for you, please allow former New Zealand Prime Minister Bill English to lay it all out. And it emerged today that Prime Minister Bill English once described Middle Eastern asylum seekers as leftovers. Wow! Leftovers. Actually, that's not so bad. In my experience, the Middle East makes great leftovers. <laughs> I've won awards. <laughs> what are you talking about, Bill English? Do you stand by such outrageous comments? It's been 12 years since Bill English wrote this newsletter. 12 years that's been hard on his memory. Well, I, I haven't seen what you're quoting from, so you know, I can't vouch for, for whatever you, you it is. Wrote, you wrote it. Um, well, you know, I, I haven't seen it, so I don't, I don't know what you're referring to there. Yes, I don't know what you're referring to there. Yes, I did write it, but I still haven't seen it because I wrote it with a blindfold on. You see, now, <laughs> I've got you there in a little loophole. All right, Brett? <laughs> That's how all Kiwis finish their sentences. <laughs> now, please, do not get me wrong. Australia sucks when it comes to refugee policy too. Oh boy, do we suck. We suck, we stink, we blow, we're poo. Poo, poo, poo. We're sucky, stinky, blow, poo. I think I've made my point. <laughs> sure, we're one of the most generous countries in the world when it comes to resettling refugees through the UNHCR, but the UNHCR only resettles around 100,000 refugees every year. There are nearly 22 and a half million refugees worldwide right now, and a grand total of 65 million people who have been displaced from their homes. Our intake is in the thousands, while countries like Lebanon, Pakistan and Turkey are currently hosting millions of people. But hey, at least we're not New Zealand! <laughs> That's the spirit! This might help, think of the worldwide refugee crisis like the 2012 film adaptation of Les Miserables. The whole thing is, in my opinion, a profoundly awful disaster. <laughs> but when it comes to who's to blame, Australia's contribution to the disaster... Draw the meaning of those 19 years. The slave of the law... ...is slightly less shit than the New Zealand contribution. <laughs> Do not forget my name. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, in the bigger picture, they're still both parts of a very shitty movie. <laughs> that explains.